Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alan and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be trying out the round four layout of Virtual Drift Championship. Now for round four, we visit Brazil Landrina. Landrina? Lodrina? It's in Brazil, anyway. <laughs> it's the first time that Virtual Drift Championship ever kind of attends a Brazilian race circuit, so it's very, very cool, especially since that the Brazilian drift community is very, very strong within VDC. And um, yeah, it's quite awesome to try out this new track layout. Now, this track layout is very interesting, high speed, very fast transitions, but it's very, very short. And so uh, it's gonna be quite interesting to try and maximize uh, the chase run and to figure out where you have to be to be able to get the win. Now, in qualifying, it's gonna be interesting as well because of the run being so short, you have to make sure you freaking nail it. And it is a lot harder because of the length of the track, but also the speed that you're traveling at. So I think, Without much talking around, let's uh, let's put on the gloves and let's do some driving, shall we? As always, we are in the Project Academy S15. This version is the VDC version of the car, so it's just got different stickers and stuff. This is actually the same car that we won Drift Masters Virtual Championship with. We just have different banners and obviously a uh, sticker on the side of the, the name sticker on the side of the car. So um, same car, same everything, but probably the same setup, but uh, this, this time we're with VDC colors. Of course, we are back on the roof cam again, uh, as always. Controversial topic if any of you guys, yeah, if any of you guys are in the community, you might know that this is kind of a controversial topic using this roof camera. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll, I'll talk about it maybe some other time. But right now, let's do a quick lap on this track load. So here we go, we're initiating at like 180 kilometers an hour. That is so fast. We've got an ear clip here. Whoa, okay, we have to be careful. The transition, yeah, it's gonna be a tricky one. Leave this zone quite early to get to this one nice and early. Clipping points are not 100% correct in my opinion anyway, so let's go back to pits here. So, yeah, from uh, from initial standpoint, the track is super quick. We're doing 180 kilometer entries there, which is uh, very, very fast. Probably the fastest entry we've done in VDC, maybe. I don't think we've gone much quicker than that, honestly. So let's do another lap here. We have to do a massive weight transfer to get the car going, because we are down up very high in the revs. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Third gear. Whoa, okay. That, I mean, second run out, that's not too bad. <laughs> that was an awesome run. I was not expecting that whatsoever. So let's reset back to the bits here. Let's do a, another lap. So yeah, this track is very interesting. As you can see, we're doing crazy amounts of speed here on initiation. So it's going to be important for the chase driver at least to be able to stay with the lead driver all the way because you could lose so much proximity. But you don't want to jump to start too much either because you might not have enough speed to, to carry you through the momentum of the first corner. I handbraked that time on initiation. I don't know if that's going to be allowed or if it's going to be disallowed. Um, we we'll have to wait and see. That's going to be interesting too because I'm able to do a clutch kick or like a faint entry without using needing to slow down any bit. And in the chase position, if someone's going to if someone is going to like handbrake and you're expecting, you know, you're usually doing a quick flick or a clutch kick entry, it's going to kind of, it's going to put you a bit uneasy. So it's going to be difficult. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure how the tandem battles are going to be for this track. They're going to either be very messy uh, or it's not going to be special really at all. But yeah, I, have to, I don't really have enough rotation on the initiation point. So I'll have to work on that bit. Second zone here is fine. It is what it is. Leave that zone a tad early for me, my personal liking anyway. And it seems to kind of work out quite nicely. Clip points are not laid up uh, perfectly correct in my opinion. I feel like you kind of have to sacrifice the ending of some clipping points to kind of make the rest of them kind of work. Um, but that's, I mean, look, that's this track layout. I think it's just one of those, one of those tracks that are, uh, yeah, it's just super tricky. So to be able to kind of make use of that is going to be hard anyway. Uh, so here we go, we'll do another run. So let's do a big flick. Whoa! Big, bit too much of a flick. So the thing is, I want a diesel after the transition. That's generally how diesels kind of should work, is a diesel after a transition. Uh, however, in this track, we might have to diesel before that inner clip. Um, I'm not really sure what the diesel zones are going to be for this track. Generally, VDC released their diesel axle map right before the event or the day before it. So this is being recorded on the on a Thursday. So um, 
obviously they will, they will release that map on tomorrow which is the friday uh for any of you wondering yes vdc will be on saturday this is coming saturday the 6th of february is it what date are we over the fourth yeah so the 6th of february um oh big massive mistake oh that was weird why didn't transition um so yeah so it's going to be on then uh, you can check out their live stream on the VDC webpage and, and their Facebook and their YouTube and stuff. So it should be a pretty decent event. Um, again, this track, like I said, it's the difficult one. No, the reason being why VDC have kind of picked this track, I assume, is something to do with the fact that the last, uh, or the first three rounds, have been super, super competitive, super, super close. Uh, qualifying has been separated. I, I'll probably put up on screen um, what the cutoff for qualifying has been all three rounds. Um, and I think the judges just want to make the track a little harder because it's kind of getting the, the current track loads were a little easy for the drivers, I suppose. And maybe they were having a bit of a hard time <laughs> depicting it. And to be honest, I don't blame them. Uh, tougher track loads do no harm. Uh, like, you know, we're used to all of these current ones that we've had so for so long. The, you know, the, the, I literally can't remember what track we had for round one of VDC. I cannot remember whatsoever. Oh, Road Lancer. Yeah. Okay. Road Lancer. Round two, we had a. Uh, I can't remember, guys. I am. I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. I can't believe it. Right. Okay. Well, let's let's cut that segment. Anyway, what I'm saying is the first three rounds have been quite common enough. Track loads have been super doable, super easy, um, compared to you know some other track loads within VDC before. And I think they want to make something a little bit more difficult for us drivers, so that uh, yeah, the competition is a bit harder. They might separate us a little bit more. Um, okay. So. Lead run wise, what to expect? I suppose, first of all, initiation is very quick, so there's going to be lots of different types of initiations. Um, while tapping, I'm, I mean, my lead run is not so bad, honestly. I'm pretty happy how it's working out right here, it's pretty good. I don't really think we have to change much there, really. Like, that was a pretty decent lead run, I think. Right, so I've just joined the, uh, I suppose, the practice server for this track load. Let's see if we can get a few chase laps in on some people um, and kind of see what to expect. The, there's only two drivers in my particular side of the session right now, and that is Russell Jones and I think uh, Matthias uh, Nordingen. So um, let's do a lead run here. Let's see what the track temperature is like. Track grip seems pretty decent. I'm getting a bit, a bit of uh, skipping frames right there. I don't know if this, if you guys can tell. I wonder, am I gonna have to do some graphical work to reduce my GPU load? That was a very fast run. Uh, that was, so I, I, yeah, okay, that's interesting. I took a different line that time and it worked out really good. So let's see when they do release that line map, will it be something similar to that or, or what exactly? All right, let's do a proper chase lap this time. We hit uh, Matty's last time on initiation. So let's try and make that, not make that mistake again. Okay, right yo. Yeah, initiation is going to be tough, I think. Uh, that time, <laughs> it was still super sketchy by me chasing Matthias in. And he's not doing anything wrong in initiation. It's just uh, when you're new to a track like this and you try to adapt to like what people are doing in front of you, you're trying to like think on the spot. Uh, generally, when you get a bit more confident, though, you can start to pre-activate uh, or like pre-react of what people what people are going to do. So you can kind of like assume, and then from that, you kind of already do it before they've even done it so you're already reacting to something that they haven't done yet if that makes sense okay car is a weird uh, tweak a wee, weird twitchiness to it so I have to sort that out 
And I feel like I'm leaving that third outer zone or the third last zone super early to be able to get the last or the last two clips or the last inner clip tight, you know, so um, that's a tricky one. So let's do one more chase lap. Let's hope we don't uh, murder Matthews. And then uh, let's try, uh, let's wrap up the video, shall we? So one last uh, lead run here or chase run. Oh, he's in the wall. And I'm in the wall. Radio, I think we'll just leave it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be live. Well, I won't be live, but VDC will be live on Saturday, the 6th of February, this coming Saturday. You guys can check it out. Um, yeah, it should be a very, very good event indeed. Uh, yeah, it's going to be super tricky layout and definitely from the chase position. Um, it's very easy to hit people on initiation, especially in, especially after that first transition. So it's going to be super close. Um, other than that though, guys, I got a bit of work to do. I've got to get like this car set up correctly for this track layout. I got to, um, you know, fix up some stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see how we do up on Saturday. So guys, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys very soon. Cheers and goodbye.